So would you like to shoot with this 70 to 200? Or this 70 to 200? Uh, uh. Welcome to Colorfield Media. I, I've been getting some messages. Some people think my intro is a, a little harsh and abrupt. Yeah, well, I'm harsh and abrupt, and I made it that way for a reason. Um, fast forward there if you don't like it. I, mean, I was watching a lot of Black Mirror on Netflix when I made that intro. <laughs> Maybe I'll change it in the future. I don't know. I kind of like it. I like that it's abrupt. Let me know in the comments if you hate it or you love it. Not that I care either way, but I like it harsh. Yes, this is my massive Black Magic Pocket 6K pocket. It's a pocket. Yeah, that fits in your pocket. Okay. Uh, with the Sigma 70 to 200, love this lens. It's an old school lens. Uh, it's a beast. It's massive, but it's it's a great lens. Um, this is a Super 35. And yes, Super 35 has its place. And I like filming with Super 35. I like the depth of field. Um, Super 35 was great for Hollywood for a hundred years. Uh, now we're starting to see all the full frame uh, craze happening. And I like full frame. I, I don't know if I like the Zack Snyder style full frame uh, where you know everything's blurred out except for one eyeball. I think full frame has its place. I think Super 35 has its place. Um, but I also love Micro Four Third system. And am I in focus? There you go. I'm on. I'm shooting an, on an old Canon EDD right now uh, because it has autofocus. So I'm, I'm hoping I'm in focus right now. So this is the Lumix 35 to 100. And this is like the version one. This is the the old blue and the gray one. Uh, I think it's really cool looking actually. And it is on the Pocket 4K, which honestly I got to tell you, the, this Pocket 4K. What a deal, man. You know, for 1300 bucks, brand new, if you can find one on eBay, you know, grab it. Uh, you probably get it for under 1000 A lot of times it won't come with DaVinci Resolve, so you can get it for under 1000 bucks. But I think it's a steal. It's a great camera. Um, you do have to rig these up. Uh, you have to put a cage on it. You have to either bring a pocket full of small batteries or rig it up. I have another video where I talk about power solutions for the pocket 4K and 6K. Uh, I'll link it somewhere above. But anyway, I, I took this out this morning. I just got this 35 to 100. And I love the fact that this is a micro four third system. I love that it's such a small, compact setup. And I can use this on my GH5 or my GH5S. Um, but I really love the pocket 4K's image. Um, so I put up with the, you know, restrictions, uh, that this thing presents because of the image. It's amazing. It's a great image. Uh, so with this little pocket 4k and the 35 to 100, I essentially have the same thing as this beast on this little setup. We know all the black magic cameras have pretty bad IR pollution. The 6K Pro has internal ND, so that kind of addresses that issue. But like the 4K, I found these cheap ice filters on Amazon. They're ice IR cut filters. I found them about a year ago. Super cheap, and they don't alter your image except for they cut out the the the, no, the you know the IR pollution. Um, and then I throw a variable ND on, and I'm good to go. And you know I'll leave links in the description below. So if you want to pick them up, they're super cheap. Uh, they have some, they have this like weird Sanskrit font on them. That's the only thing, but they're, they're cool. Yeah. Listen, this is a great little setup. Here's some footage I shot this morning with the little teeny tiny black magic 4k and the micro four third 70 to 200. This is the 35 to 100. Oh, what I will say is that the stabilization does not work really well on this 35 to 100 on the 4k uh the pocket 4k on the gh5 it'll be fine because you have the internal image stabilization but on the black magic pocket um the version one at least the one i have you can see the micro jitters so i set these up on a monopod and do a lot of static shooting that's how i shoot anyway traditionally so yeah here here's some footage that i shot this morning with the pocket 4k the 35 to 100 version one the ice ir cut and a bower variable nd and it's 
they're not very expensive filters and i think they did a really good job so here you go thanks see ya